Well, it is a very sad burden for Japan to have to bear, but uh, it's understandable given the circumstances around the world with the virus. Uh, the direct impact is not horrible. It's in the you know, six to seven billion US dollar direct hit. If you add in other costs, it adds up to maybe about 0.5% of, of GDP. So it's a very significant number for Japan, uh, but it's not uh, overwhelming. And it also uh, will be deferred in, uh, to next year, so the growth will be better next year. Uh, John, I wanted to ask you about the um, underlying market and, and the behavior we've seen of pension funds and the BOJ at this point. The BOJ actually moved commendably very early to recognize the challenges potentially of coronavirus. Do you think that we are going to see now stability for the Nikkei and perhaps as we see pension funds buying equities at this point, there is the chance that we may just hold these levels? Well, certainly, yes, the government acted quite quickly and uh, suppressed the spread quite early, uh, the virus. Uh, and the Bank of Japan has been quite supportive all along. And then recently it uh, increased its ETF purchases. And that's been a major factor, I believe, in stabilizing sentiment here. Uh, pension funds also seem to be buying here here as well as a rebalance, uh, whereby if they have a balanced portfolio and the stocks drop too far, that at the end of the fiscal year, which is March uh, every year, um, they tend to uh, rebalance their portfolios. And in this case, that would be buying more equities. Uh, there's a good chance that things could stabilize here. Um, certainly you have to watch the rest of the world and the acceleration or lack thereof of the virus, especially in, in Europe. Uh, but if the virus stabilizes and uh, the uh, central banks and governments can stabilize credit markets, there's a good chance that, uh, at least in the intermediate term, prices will be up from here. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.